Welcome back, family, friends, and fans. It is Karma Lately. I have missed you guys so much. I have not forgotten about you at all. Just been working on quite a few different things. Trying to pace myself, really. Um, quality over quantity right now is, is the key for me. And that is what I have been doing. So <laughs> I recently was reached out to by a company called Tuvren. Uh, T-O-O-V-R-E-N. I'm going to put the link in the description. And they offered to buy, to send me, actually, this really cool, sorry, this really cool product. And the, these are needle threaders. It comes in a pack of 12. Um, which is really cool because I can have a couple stashed away. I can have a couple in my sewing machine compartment. Um, and if I lose one, you know, I always know that I, I have one handy. Um, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to do what I always do, which is give you guys a, um, a review and a tutorial now they reached out to me a woman named mia from tuvren she reached out to me and said that she liked my review on the sewing machine and she wanted me to do one for these needle threaders and i agreed they bought it they bought it and sent it to uh for me um so the way this this deal worked was I gave them my PayPal email. They sent me the funds, um, which was, it cost for these 12, it's $7.99. Um, and with everything included, I think it came out to like eight something. And so they sent me the eight something via PayPal, via PayPal and I paid for it on Amazon and I got the product and came fairly quickly and that was it it was pretty simple so that was how that partnership worked out so I'm going to demonstrate two ways to thread this now just wanted to make note these are plastic as you can see there's a little hole here I would imagine that that would be to um, maybe put a needle like put a, a thread through it or some sort of string and you can like keep this in a safe place or maybe hang it around your neck um or I'm, I'm not really sure but that's what i would assume either way it has an imprint on both sides which is so that you can hold it nicely like so so it's nice and comfortable and then it has a hook there's the hook Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a piece of thread and I like to cut my thread at about 45 uh, inches long so that then when I, when it's in half, when it's doubled, then it's about 22 and a half inches long, which is um, my ideal for when I'm doing, like when I'm sewing by hand, this is as long as I'd like for it to be. So it's about 22 and a half inches long. Um, when I'm going to use this threader, I don't fold it in half. I kind of just leave a little piece here hanging. And that's about how much I have folded. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there as is. I'm going to get my threader. I'm going to hold it with the hook facing down. As you can see, you see the hook facing down. Now you could do it with the hook facing up. It's up to you. I like my hook facing down. I got my needle. Sorry, I'm trying to look through the camera. 
I got my needle there. I'm going to hook it through. And now I'll pull the rest of the string and my needle is threaded. That was quick, easy. Um, I made it seem a little more difficult because I'm doing it through the camera. Now, okay, now we are going to use our machine. Turn on this light. I'm gonna take out the presser foot. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, so you're gonna thread your <clears throat> machine the way you normally would. You put... Now you have your um thread hanging over and let's say for whatever reason you don't like to use this or it stopped working or you just you just don't like it right what you're gonna do The needle threader is through this needle, but I'm going to see if I can give you a better angle. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so there's the needle, and I just kind of create a little bunch here, and then I pull, 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 and my needle is threaded. And that's another way of threading your needle on your sewing machine. Overall, I think this is a super easy to use product. I don't foresee anyone having any issues with it at all. I think this would be great for people who have trouble seeing up close and have trouble um, threading the, 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 the hand needle. And for the sewing machine as well, because these sewing machines can sometimes, although mine, I've had it already since 2018 and I really haven't had any issues with it, but um, sometimes the sewing machines can have some issues and you wanna, um, if you're gonna get it fixed or you, know, you don't wanna wait and there's a project that you have to do, then this is where this comes in handy. You can thread the machine without needing any assistance um, whatsoever. And threading by hand, you know, sewing by hand and using this is super ideal because sometimes the needle just pop, I'm sorry, the thread pops, the needle um, gets unthreaded and we get frustrated. I love how there's 12 of these so I can definitely put I'm gonna definitely put a few in here and I'll put a few in my sewing drawer and I have another sewing <laughs> uh, case. But yeah, so overall I loved it and I definitely would recommend it. I am going to put the link in the description so that you guys can get yours as well. 
Uh, so thank you, Tuvrin, for uh, sending me this. And I hope you like my review. And I hope you guys liked my tutorial. I definitely give it a thumbs up. I'll be seeing you guys very soon this week as I have something else that I'm posting, maybe a live as well. So I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.